dioxide and some minerals uh, that, that can then be used in a beneficial way uh, in the built environment. And uh, the, the, the basic idea is that you know, most of the carbon in the planet, by a long shot, is in carbonate minerals. I'm just really going to focus on coal, on, from the burning of coal, and transforming it into uh, carbonate minerals that uh, are actually used in a beneficial and, and profitable way in the built environment. If we look at the U.S., um, and we look at U.S. Uh, emissions of CO2, uh, most of it is coming from the generation of electric power. And 80% uh, of those emissions are coming from the burning of coal in the United States. So the important point I wanted to point out is if we, if we address the coal problem, we could address the whole carbon problem. The approach that we're going to talk about today is to capture the CO2 and convert it uh, to building materials that are beneficial and useful. So sustainability is a big issue in the, in the construction industry and in the concrete industry, and you've probably heard of a green building and lead and all that kind of stuff. Most of the talk you've heard about sequestering and transporting CO2 is talking about emissions from refineries that have on the order of 95 to 100% CO2. And those technologies don't apply to coal-fired emissions. They don't apply to gas-fired emissions. But the process is that we, we take uh, flue gas, but we interact it with the seawater out of Monterey Bay. We precipitate calcium and magnesium carbonates and, uh, and make building materials out of it. We're not doing anything any different than uh, natural biomineralization of carbonate. There's no special chemicals or anything but CO2 plus water makes carbonic acid, and it can be disassociated to bicarbonate and then to carbonate. We take that slurry, and we're forming two products. Uh, one is cement, and we make this cement by uh, pumping the uh, material, which starts out looking like milk, and it's dewatered, and then it looks like plain yogurt. And it's get, it gets pumped into a spray dryer, which is a technology that's used to make powdered milk. As the developing world develops, concrete is the most used uh, material just behind water. The material I'll tell you about has half a ton of CO2 per ton. So uh, we could... Uh, if we took all the concrete and we used our process instead of the conventional processes, we could sequester about 6 billion tons of CO2 that way per year. Uh, if we used it in aggregate, you can multiply that times 20. 